do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students let us solve question number 8 of 2014 physics advanced paper 1 students let us solve question number 8 the question as you can see from the diagram is from mechanics and some friction is involved as mu is there the question says in figure a ladder of mass m is shown this is a ladder of mass m is shown leaning against a wall so that is a wall vertical wall like this this is a floor and this is kept like that it's leaning against the wall like this as you can see here it is in static equilibrium so initially it is in static equilibrium static equilibrium means it is at rest there is no translational motion there is no rotational motion of the center of mass so center of mass is absolutely at rest and uh, there is no part of the body uh, there is net torque is zero and uh, net force acting on the body must be zero for static equilibrium that two conditions we must apply those two conditions because force equation and torque equation we have to balance it and from these two equations we will have to whatever you would find that we can find from these two equations making an angle of theta with the horizontal floor so this makes an angle theta you can see here in the horizontal floor the coefficient of friction between the wall and the ladder is mu1 and that between floor and ladder is mu2 so wall and ladder here wall and ladder it is mu1 floor and ladder it is mu2 the coefficient of static friction the normal reaction of the wall on the ladder is l1 here there will be normal reaction in this direction it is l1 here there will be normal reaction pointing upward it is m2 so there are two normal reactions both at the two points in contact one with the you know, of the contacts of the ladder one touching the wall and other touching the ground or floor so these two points will have normal reactions because they are in contact the normal reactions of the wall on the ladder is this and floor is this if the ladder is to is about to slip if the ladder is about to slip then it is now in static equilibrium so we we'll write the conditions for static equilibrium then we will see what uh, under what condition the ladder will uh, slide for static equilibrium of this ladder against the wall and floor this is the wall and this is the floor we have two normal reactions one over here this is given in question n1 another normal reaction is acting here which is n2 this is the length which i will consider l so here it is center of mass of the rod or ladder so this total distance is l from here to here so from here to here it will be l by 2 this angle is given theta now we'll use the force equation the net force acting on this wall is having friction mu1 and this wall and the, this will have friction mu2 friction constant force equation will write that 
the vertical forces sum of all the vertical forces must be equal to sum of all the forces acting downward you can see that if i you can see that n2 the normal direction as you can see is acting upward so that normal direction is uh, the only force acting upward direction and obviously because uh, this ladder has mass m so that must act through its center of mass the gravitational force will act through the center of mass center of gravity both point the same thing here so m into g so there are two one vertically upward force is only n2 and downward force is only mg so these two will balance each other this is equation number one vertical forces now similarly there will be in horizontal direction in x direction this is a force balanced in y direction and then we'll have a force balanced in the x direction in x direction what are the forces acting if this is the normal reaction if this is about to slip this starts moving this point will move in this direction so friction will be in the opposite direction so this is the friction 2 if this slides down this will come down because this has to move like that slide down this point will move down this point will move towards left this will be negative x direction this will be negative y direction if it slides it slides like that this has to move forward if this point moves relatively to the surface forward friction will be acting downward this point relative to the wall moving downward so friction will be upward okay i'll consider this is friction two and this is consider friction number one but frictional force that is acting upward is mu one n one that is the formula for force of static friction similarly f2 can be written as mu2 times the normal reaction at the point of contact from these two relations i will again balance the vertical forces that is another vertical forces i have forgotten to take here in vertical forces i have not only n2 m equals to mg that is one force is coming out that is f1 so i'll write f1 here f1 plus n2 is this okay because then one force is there so now to balance the horizontal forces you can see how are the horizontal forces this is n1 normal direction on the ladder by the wall it is towards left and there is one force here f2 by the acting on this ladder by the floor which is towards this i am drawing the free body diagram of the ladder not the wall or floor that you must remember because the flow the wall exerts a force f1 in the upward direction this is the frictional force so the ladder will also exert a force in the downward direction frictional force in the downward direction but that we are not going to take into consideration because we are concerned with the movement of the ladder not with the floor and wall so if i balance the horizontal forces this is f2 right and left must balance the right one and left one the right one or left one is f2 here must be equal to this n1 here what is f2 mu2 n2 so n1 is mu2 n2 this is my equation number two so we will uh, write the first equation f1 is this in the first equation this f1 is what f1 is mu1 n1 so I'll write the first equation mu1 is again and put n1 as mu2 n2 that means what was the first equation i wrote f1 plus n2 equals to mg now in place of f1 i write mu1 n1 that is clear that is mg again i got n1 as mu2 n2 i'll substitute here so mu1 into mu2 n2 plus n2 equals to mg from here i'll take n2 common and this is 1 plus mu1 mu2 
equals to mg and from here n2 equals to mg divided by 1 plus mu1 mu2 this is the value of n2 which is there in mg divided by 1 plus mu1 mu2 so mu1 not 0 mu2 not 0 then this is satisfied this option is correct because I have taken mu1 and mu2 and this is the value of normal reaction so normal reaction here will be weight of this divided by 1 plus mu1 mu2 this is a very good, interesting result that we are getting next is next is we have to because it is more than one option is correct so I have to check for uh, something else in terms of tan theta because the other options are having tan theta so in terms of tan theta that means you have to see for the torque equation just start slipping so let us balance the torque equation the ladder is here the ladder is here this is the point about which I want to measure the torque suppose this point is O so I will write the torque equation about O so these two forces N2 and F2 will not contribute any torque because those two forces passing through the point of about which I want to measure the torque only these two forces will uh, contribute to the torque equation then uh, let us find the torque about O and we will see that if the body is uh, coming uh, in moving in clockwise sense because this has to rotate like that then only it will slip this is this uh, ladder has to move like that so this is the clockwise rotation like that so I will have a torque contribution from this force and these two forces not these two forces because this is passing through this point of rotation then uh, in that case just start slipping and it's given that the normal reaction of the wall on the ladder is n1 and is n if the ladder is about to slip then which of these are correct so let us find the torque equation first so due to mg force talk about this is this mg is a perpendicular distance this is mg force and this is a perpendicular distance this is a perpendicular distance i will draw here so this is the mg this is the line of section of the force and this one this distance is the r perpendicular this distance is l by 2 because that is the half length of the ladder this angle is theta so this is l by 2 this will be l by 2 cos theta so torque about o this point is o due to this force is uh, mg l by 2 cos of theta so this is clockwise i write clockwise again i have one force here which is uh, upper direction that is uh, f1 frictional force you can see here frictional force acting upward so this is the line of action of force this is the distance i have to consider and that will produce anti-clockwise torque because uh, it is in upward direction so it will produce anti-clockwise torque therefore the torque by due to that f1 force about o is equal to this is one this is two like that you can write that is uh this is the perpendicular distance from here to here this is l this is theta so l cos theta so this is uh f1 l cos theta and that will produce anti-clockwise torque and one more force is left here that is the normal reaction this and this is the line of action of force and this is the perpendicular distance and this distance is same as this distance this distance is l this is theta this is l cos theta and this is l sin theta so the torque due to this normal reaction 
that is I call TO3, is uh, the four, that is my direction N1, and this perpendicular distance, this perpendicular distance, which is L sine theta, is also producing anticlockwise torque. At equilibrium, at equilibrium, this two will balance out. So at equilibrium, mg L by 2 cos theta must balance F1 L cos theta plus N1 L sine theta. Now, I will uh, rewrite those equations as important mg L by 2 cos theta equals to F1 L1 cos theta plus N1 L sine of theta. If I substitute the value of my F1 that is mu1 N1 L1 cos theta plus N1 L N L1 what is L1? This is L. This is not L1. This is F1 L. There's nothing in L1, so L cos theta, and this is sine theta. This is mg L by 2 cos theta. Whatever possible, you can cancel out. L is present everywhere, so let us cancel that first. And we'll see the option, because that's the answer, but then we'll see the option, which order or what fashion it arranges the result. If you see the... This is n tan theta, n1 tan theta, n2 tan theta, mg by 2, mg by 2, mg by 2. So you can see that all the three options, mg by 2 is kept to one side. So let us keep mg by 2 one side and see what we are getting. So this mg by 2 we have to keep with this side. And this cos theta has to be divided everywhere. So this will become mu1 n1 cos theta cos theta cancels. Plus this will become n1 tan theta. Because cos theta sin theta divided cos theta is tan, tan theta. Now, this is the result we are getting from the torque equation. But the thing is, we have to match which of these is correct. You can see that uh, this mg by 2 equals to 2 terms. There is only one term there. The other has to be 0. Now, it is given that. If you see the option 1, mu1 1 is 0. If I put mu1 is 0 and mu2 not 0, if this is 0, then uh, n1 tan theta is mg by 2. But in the question, it is given n2 tan theta is mg by 2. This is not right. Next, if m1 not 0, m1 not 0, and mu2 is 0, but mu2 is not in the picture. So this is also not possible. Because mu2 is not in the picture. Mu2 is 0. Mu2 is what? This is 0. If here n1, here is mu1, there is no mu2. If you put mu2 0, this result has nothing to change. So this option is also wrong. If you see the option number 4, put mu1 is 0 and mu2 not 0. Mu1 is 0. If I put mu1 0, this whole thing will become 0 and this equation will become mg by 2 equals to n1 tan of theta. You can see that this is the correct answer. n1 tan theta is mg by 2. Here also n1 tan theta is mg by 2. This we got only when we put mu1 is 0 and mu2 not equals to 0. mu1 is 0 and mu2 not equals to 0. So therefore, option number 4 is correct. Okay. Thank you.